All right, I'm just gonna take a couple of minutes and just kind of brief on these pumps. So I have the Willow Go and the LV Stride. I compared these two today in my um, comparison post. And then at some point, I'm thinking I might be bringing out these just to talk about, like just to compare. Um, this is the LV Original and this is the Willow 3.0. Uh, if I get tongue tied at any point, just to let me catch up with myself because there's a lot going on here. Um, I think ultimately the point of these pumps are to be mobile. So the reason why I chose, ultimately the reason why I chose I would go with the Willow Go is for two reasons. Number one, there's no tubes. I put it in my bra and I go. That is my intention. That's what I want. I want to be cordless. Number two, I just think the suction is way stronger and it's very comfortable. I don't care for the 3.0 suction. Um, it's a world of difference. And as far as volume goes, this thing has like this weird mechanical noise every time it triggers and this does not. So I think they should just get rid of this product, honestly, and just replace it solely with the Go. Um, and then the LV Stride. I like the LV Stride. I would say I like the cups more than the pump, 100%. Um, yesterday in my stories, I had shared, and I'll probably do it again today, I shared how I hacked my Pumpables Genie Advance with my uh, LV Stride cups. These cups are so easy to hack because all it is is tubing, and perfectly honest, like tubing is universal. Like You don't have to worry about your Spectre tubing and your Medellic tubing and your LV tubing. This one is a little different, but it does, this is LV Stride. But the LV Stride tubing, ultimately, I could hack it anyway. Like some of them, they all are a little different from each other, but ultimately they're all about the same size. So unless anything's like super drastic, you don't have to worry about anything. So I hacked my Pumpables Genie Advance with, that was the Pumpables tubing with the LV Stride cups. And I, I responded very well. Um, I respond very well to that pump to begin with. And then adding in these cups, you've got that shallow profile that's really appealing. Um, but the only thing that I did mention in my review is you've got these goofy discs. And these discs, they just go in, they're ball bearings, and they just clip right into the front. But then the tubing has to come out. And it's just a wacky design, in my opinion. It's like over-the-top fancy. Like, why do we have to do all this? Isn't there a better way, like a more concealable way? Um... So the tubing comes out and because of that, I had mentioned that you've got like this like weird veiny thing going on on your boob. That's just, it doesn't reflect a natural contour of a breast when you start adding in this like flatness of the disc and then the tubing that comes out. And I don't know, with a sweater, you'd never know. But if you have something more form fitting, it's kind of funky. Now with the Willow Go, this is excellent. I mean, there's like nothing stopping this contour and it's pretty good, I would say. This is the seven ounce um, collection and this is the five ounce collection there is a big difference so I'll just take the cups off and I want to touch on how you put this together because I found out kind of the hard way um, so I'll put them side by side you can see I mean there is a difference for sure and the five ounce collection I feel conceals very well under my under my bra and my t-shirt I was really impressed with this when I finally got my hands on the seven ounce containers, I was really excited. I do use them, but I was a little bummed out because I kind of felt like it just took me right back to 3.0, which I am not a fan of the size. I just, and they're heavy. Um, I would say this isn't light either, but yeah, they're probably about the same weight. I would say this might be just a tad bit heavier, um, but it's just a lot in your bra, especially when you go up to the seven ounce and then when you fill it with milk, now you're, you know, now we're talking volume. So I just want to touch on quickly, um, just because I'll forget to say this later, with the Willow Go, when you assemble this, this is your diaphragm for your suction. You have got to put on the, con the milk container first and then you put on your flange afterwards. You can't put your flange on first and then your container because this guy here acts as a suction. It suctions right, you can see the ring, it suctions to the flange. So it really makes a seal. If you put this on first and then put this on second, you may not get that, that seal and then kind of have to, you know, break it and redo it. So not a big deal, but do keep that in mind.
Um, so as far as insurance goes, I don't know that the Willow Go is covered under any insurance yet, but I have seen the LV Stride and usually it is an upgrade. I would say that I would not go with either of these for my first pump with the insurance at all. That's definitely not because I don't believe that either of them still empty me as ad adequately as like a nice set of flanges and a good pump would. Um, that should always be your go-to. So if you're watching this and you're pregnant or you're thinking like, okay, what's gonna be my primary pump? None of these. There are unicorns out there and there's some people that really do respond very well to um, you know these pumps as their primary, but ultimately I would say don't do it. Um, the other thing I wanna add to that is if you already have like a reliable, good primary pump and now you're looking at what possibly, maybe you already had that and now you can use the insurance for something else, I would say if you are in between either of these, go with this guy because even though this pump stinks, hopefully you already have a pump you like and you can just hack it to the cups. So now you, you're you using your insurance really for the cups. I mean, you do have the pump and hopefully it works for you, but if it all, if all else fails, then you just have to hack the cups to whichever pump you're using. Um, and I don't know, like the, the cups aren't bad. I do like the cups. I like that they don't leak. I think that's probably like my biggest selling feature. And the reason why they don't really leak is because the pore spout and the vent are separate than each other. The Willow Go, the pore spout and the vent are the same hole. So we got a hole right here and I definitely like, you know, splash some milk like up and out of my cup and into my shirt. And they have this like little protector stopper, this little flap. It's just like a um, molded in piece of plastic that kind of stops it from splashing up. It doesn't do much good. Um, so I see they tried to stop it from leaking, but it was just a, it was definitely a fail. Um, overall, excellent. But if they would have adapted this design on this cup, this thing would have been bulletproof. I would really, really love it. Um, but I do like these. I've been, I used them twice yesterday with my Pumpable Genie Advance because I could get around and move up and down with my kids. If I'm driving or something, or if I'm just kind of like dilly daddling around the house, these are perfect. Um, if I know that I'm pumping during the day with like a, I know I'm going to have like an elevated supply at that time, I'll use the seven ounce containers. I won't pick this because it's only five. Excuse me. So I don't know. It's just like anything else. You know, there's like better pumps for different times of the day or different purposes. But I know not all of us can like just like collect all these pumps. And I did buy all of these. These are not gifted. Um, so, but I didn't buy them all at once either. I mean, they cost quite a bit of money. So I don't regret it. I'm glad I have it here to share with everybody. Um, but if I had to do it all over again and I was just pumping and I wasn't doing any of this, I would scrap everything here except the go. I would go with them. I do like them a lot. And I like that you have a, uh, container options where this is just not, it's not even a possibility. Um, I think that these guys here should just also be scrapped and just, you know, forgotten about. Let's pretend it never happened and just stick with these. Um, I don't know. I think that's really all. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that for now. I'm just going to leave it at that. The go wins, strides runner up. And the pump, I think, is terrible. I don't think it's very strong. It is effective, but it takes me forever to pump. So on the flip side, if I'm mobile pumping and it doesn't bother me that it takes me longer to pump, then this is okay. If your insurance is available and you're looking for something mobile, go with this. But don't pick any of these for primary. And that's it. I'm just going to ramble, so I'm out. Wait, 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 one more thing, one more thing. Nora's helping me with this one. Um, the last thing I want to say, because this is a big question, it's really important, and it could be a deal breaker for you. Fridge hack. So the fridge hack with the LV Stride have never failed me, not once. Um, the nice thing about the LV Stride, everything is contained right to this cup. So you pop open the flap, pour your milk out, and then put the flap back on and then toss it in your fridge. Make sure that you keep the diaphragm and the tubing off and away. Don't put them in the fridge. There's no reason for that. So just, just looking like this, diaphragm is exposed, throw it in the fridge, done. Now, the thing with the Willow Go, I cannot, 
I have, I have no scientific findings here. I just, I don't have luck with the five ounce container. For whatever reason, it just doesn't work. But I have been having luck with the um, seven ounce will it go container. So when I do this, I always refrigerate anything milk touches. So like I had said with the will it go, everything is contained right here, in and done, in the fridge, you're done. So now with the will it go, you have got milk that touches both this flange here, the flange, and not this, not the motor or the diaphragm, this is isolated, this should always be dry. But you do get milk that obviously goes in the milk container and the flange. So I refrigerate the milk at the milk container and the flange. Those go in the fridge for me. Um, the seven ounce milk containers, I've been having luck with the fridge hack, so I've been doing it. And it's a little more cumbersome, there's more parts, you know, opposed to just like throwing this in there. Um, but I will say with the five ounce container, the reason that I'm having trouble, which I think seems to be the trend, um, when you refrigerate this, the condensation or like the residual milk that's in the container between um, I would maybe it could be capillary action. Let's get this. Let's get a little scientific here. So capillary action. I'm gonna go with that for right now. Um, the milk, like this, is dry as a bone. But even when I'm pumping, like everything relatively stays dry underneath the duck bill. But when I put this in the fridge, milk gets sucked in capillary action in between the duck bill and this white housing. So I'm gonna pull the duck bill off, and now you could see that's that raised area there is where the duct bill goes on. And between that, milk gets stuck in there and then when it refrigerates and you put it back on, there's no seal. So when it suctions, this duct bill starts to come off and you lose your suction and then it just all goes, you know, to HG double hockey sticks. So it doesn't work, not for me, it has not, but the five ounce has. That's all I'm gonna say about the fridge hack. Um, this should never have moisture. If it does, that's a problem because it can get pulled in and destroy your motor. This little guy right here is the motor. So this will always stay out. Um, your pump, your tubing, and your little funny discs will always stay out of the fridge. And the LV collection cup, the, uh, we'll do this one here, the collection cup for the will go, and the flange here could all go in the fridge because they're all touching milk. Now I'm out.